What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to make the text to speech settings match the Google Assistant voice on our smartphone. This is important because the future of technology is in how your device responds to you instead of how you respond to it. And this is also important if you want your phone system voice to match your Google Assistant's voice for consistency. And this process is especially helpful for my highly recommended apps, Tune Announcer Pro and Shouter Pro The Announcer, which I hope to talk about in a future video. And as a side note, I am running Android 12 on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, so this process may vary slightly, although they should be very similar. As for this video, it's featured on the Android playlist, so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in, and you can find the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 related items and items shown in this video at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things set, let's go ahead and get into it. So first we want to open our settings, which is normally done by swiping down from the top of the display and then tapping on the gear icon. Now on my device, I have a left and right menu. So on the left side, we are going to swipe down until we get to general management and tap on that. Now on my device, we're going to move to that right side menu and we're going to look for text to speech and tap on that. So now we're going to look for the option preferred engine and tap on it. Now some devices have two preferred engines. You can see that I have Samsung text to speech engine and then speech services by Google. We want to make sure that we select speech services by Google. And once that's selected, we can exit out of the page by tapping on that back arrow. Next, we're going to tap on the gear icon next to preferred engine, and that's going to open a new page. And then we're going to tap on install voice data. Next, we'll scroll down to the language we would like to use. And this is where things get interesting. So if you want to use a UK accent, you can go with English United Kingdom. But to keep this video short, I'm going to go with English United States. We're going to tap on that. And you can see we have all these options. Now I did have to download and install all these options previously just to try them out, make sure that I have the correct voice. But the voice that I found matched my Google Assistant the most would be Voice V or Voice 5. So once you find the voice that closely matches your Google Assistant, we can exit out of these pages by tapping on the back arrow three times. One, two, and three. We can then tap play for a test. This is an example of speech synthesis in English. And to see if this closely matches my Google Assistant, I'm going to back out of here and I'm going to do uh, action with my Google Assistant. What will the weather be like today? It'll be cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 63. Right now it's 64 and cloudy. So as you can see, those are fairly close. I'm happy with the results here. Now, if you weren't happy with these results, you can return back to the text to speech settings. And you can see that we have speech rate and pitch. You can play around with those to fine tune the voice and then hit play to do a test to get it closer to the voice of your Google Assistant. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. And as always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.